Okay. Last week, I went outside to buy some groceries, but there was some rubble in the way from last night's storm. Thankfully, a kind gentleman helped clear a path for me. Outside the grocery, I saw none other than James Charles and Shane Dawson. Shane had about five Louis bags in his hand while telling James he could never afford a pair of <laughs> Gucci slides. Can we stop showing that I have Gucci slides? <laughs> I ignored them and walked inside the shop. I bought my weekly groceries consisting of Monster Energy Zero Ultra, some stale bread, and 1,200 Microsoft points. I was walking to the cashier but then a man jumped in front of me. He then started a 50 minute debate with the cashier on how Dark Souls 2 is the magnum opus of From Software's career. The floaty movement is because your humanity is fading. You're not tied to the world, he screamed. Then he put the item he intended to buy on the belt. It was Dark Souls Remastered on the Switch. Now, did that happen? Probably not. You liar! But if you were the YouTube channel actually happened, it probably would have. Now, actually happened is a YouTube channel run by the Soul Publishing. They're a conglomerate that focuses on many channels that put quality over quantity <laughs> as the first and foremost, ensuring that every single upload is unique and different, and definitely not capitalizing on you accidentally clicking on one of their videos at three o'clock in the morning. Now they have great channels like uh, Brightside, which uh... Now I've seen everything, which I'm sure is really up there with nine gag. <laughs> okay, so here's one for humor. Seven quick happiness tips. Look for the good in every situation. Ignore what people say about you. Develop an attitude of gratitude. That's not funny. None of this is funny. Distance yourself from the people who bring out the stress in you and move- Ah, oh, it's the most Reddit thing I've ever seen in my life. This isn't humor! I like uh, this guy reply with an applauding gif. Definitely not an industry plan. I, I can't even say epic anymore because some retard put it in a compilation. Hope you enjoyed this <laughs> epic video. That's pretty cringe. Okay, it wasn't epic, it was just cringe, bro. Now, hopefully, Brightside will have some better content. Uh, forgive others. Ah, Use the last three digits of your phone number to see what you need to be happy. So, all my American viewers have actually got a funny challenge. Uh, comment down below your social security number. You know, sharing is caring. Death is a preferable alternative to communism. Anyway, back to actually happen because I have a bone to pick with them. But before that, guys. I just like to say, I have brand new merch. Aww. I got this. Uh, I got this Russian design here. Uh, it says cynical. It's, it's on the arms and stuff. It's pretty cool. Limited time offer. Store down below. Link in description. Please cop some. And remember, not ethically made, epically made. This is a load of barnacles. Look! Look at this. Look at this. What does that say? Probably not cynical because I ran it through Google Translate. Anyways. My problem with Actually Happened is that pretty much every second video they upload worms its way onto the trending tab. And, you know, the trending tab is a great place if you're Morgs. Wait a sec! You're copying me! No, Morgan, you're copying me! I don't <sighs> Literally no one else apart from Jimmy Fallon and people that make music. I don't like Actually Happened being on the trending tab because if they weren't on the trending tab, the chances of me getting on there would increase marginally. And marginally is enough. So actually happens stick, they'll like get a story that they stole from Reddit or something and then animate it and act like it's actually true and it's a real life story that some kids submitted to the website. Uh, one thing that actually made me laugh, Jarvis Johnson, another YouTuber, did a video on actually happened reading their about section saying that they claim everything is true actually happens describes itself as a digital platform that gives people the chance to have their personal stories turned into animations and shared around the world the only criteria is that it must be true but then if i go onto their about section they have completely removed all reference of the word true so they've kept the description the same we just removed that the stories are true. It's like the closest thing you'll ever get to a non-apology. They're keeping within terms of service, but not saying that it's all fake. <sighs> Location, United States. Haha, <laughs> that's funny, Russia. 
try again. Anyway, I've talked enough about them. Let's watch one of their videos. I I've gone through all of them and I've picked this one a complete random. No reason. Definitely not to do with the fact that they are unironically using the troll face in 2019. <laughs> Ah. Why would you use it? Are you nine? Just got the Russian man sat there. What do what do the West like? Uh, the troll face. Yes, I saw that on Funny Battlefield compilation seven years ago. Hi guys, I'm Lucinda, and here is the photo of me and my best friends ever, Laura and Caroline. <coughs> Where are the troll faces? I came to this video for troll faces. I am very disappointed that they have real faces and not troll faces. From the moment all three of us entered middle school, like years ago, it had become evident that we had started to differ a lot from each other. It's understandable. Some people are mentally stable. <laughs> other people watch PewDiePie. It <laughs> but an open message on Facebook suddenly grabbed my attention. It was a conversation between Laura and Caroline about me. Just so you understand, I never ever read someone else's private messages or whatever. But the stuff written in this message, and in the next one, just made me want to keep reading. Oh, hold on. Someone said mean things about you on the internet. There's something that must be done. But I kept thinking and rethinking about the whole situation. I figured out that revenge would be the only thing that could satisfy me. Every person you ever kill on Rust, ever. I figured out that revenge would be the only thing that could satisfy me. You whore, we like Fortnite, we like Fortnite, we like Fortnite. How about you just confront them about the DMs? You don't need to go on some like, Metal Gear revenge arc. Just confront them about the messages. And if you're worried about them denying it, take pictures of the chat to show them. You don't need to go all John Rambo and game end everybody. But you know what? Sit. I forgot her name. Female protagonist. I challenge you to Halo 2 1v1. Energy beams only. And Caroline had recently fallen in love with a young teaching assistant. She had even photoshopped a couple of their separate photos together so they looked like a loving couple. I won't lie. I think maybe you've had a bad choice in friends. This is, uh, this is indirect predatory stalking. You do not photoshop your face in someone else's family photos. Okay, that's weird. There is nothing else to say, that's just weird, man. The three of us apologized for our behavior, but none of us actually excused each other. For now, we are still pretending to be friends in front of our moms so we don't disappoint them. But in reality, I doubt we could ever become as close as we used to be before. Now please give this video a like. I act like I like my friends, but secretly. I have deep-rooted hatred for them and only pretend to like them so my social facade doesn't fade. Uh, by the way guys, please like the video. I have new merch. Please buy my merch. What is going on? I'm so confused. That actually happened. Yeah. I really don't know why they removed that their stories aren't true. I mean, that one seemed really grounded and realistic. <laughs> What's this? You could submit your own stories that actually happened? This will be so epic, guys. My name is Sir Epic the Third. I go by the title of the Small Wanged Warrior. Every day I PWN noobs on Fortnite with my Dorito and crusted fingernails, destroying noobs K slash D left and right, becoming a well-known shinobi in the title Deadlands. One time my mother came into my room and unplugged my Xbox and demanded I get a job. I refused to listen to her that night and continued owning N00BS. Later that week we lost the house. I live in Thailand and am using an internet cafe to send this. Thank you for spreading my message. Sir Epic the Third. By the way, uh, top comment on their last video. Stop scrolling for a second. Have an amazing day. You are worth everything. Now, these videos, I, I really don't care about, to be honest. You know, they're just clickbaiting, they're lying about a story, it's whatever. But then they went into the territory of doing these emotionally charged, manipulative videos. Hey guys, Peter Griffin here. And you know what really grinds my gears? Emotionally manipulative videos. Lowish. They've done so many of these. Your mom in a coma, your girlfriend covered in bruises. My name, my name is Chegg. My name is Chegg. All this emotionally charged stuff that apparently young children submitted to the channel so their voices could be heard. A and this is their prime business model. After they did one emotionally charged video and it banged, that they're starting to focus their channel more and more on this. Like, I I'm sorry, I find it a bit suspicious 
that apparently all these children suddenly came in with their deep depressing stories about how they lost a loved one, a pet, a family member. All of their most popular uploads are based around some kind of tragedy or mishap. I just want to say sharing your story with the world about stuff like this is great. It helps get the word out there and it's incredibly therapeutic. But when you're doing it just to make money and this is your business model, that is beyond scummy. This is why they upload every single day. They cycle out a bunch of animators so they can always get an upload out. They don't care about sharing these people's stories. They just care about making money. Now there is a channel that somehow even worse. My story animated. The cover photo is just a, a stock image of a boy and a girl. They didn't take the picture. They probably didn't get the license for it. They just stole it off Google Images. It really is like if aliens ran a YouTube channel and they wanted to attract the least amount of suspicion possible. And you know the best thing about this one is? In their about section, they say real life stories. So these ones are true. Uh, actually happened. It's fake. It's BS. It's one of... My story animated, these ones are real. For example, uh, this one, very real. <laughs> <laughs> ah, looks like the attack inside of CSGO, man. Why would you do that? In my small town, everyone knows everyone and news here travels really fast. Not much happens around here. Just a few burglaries once in a while. It's like I'm watching a bootleg clip of Endgame on YouTube where they're trying to like flip and distort the clip so much so content ID doesn't pick up on it. Just a few burglaries once in a while and the petty criminals get busted on this every time. Okay, we got another one here. At least no one died in it, right? There's, there's no family tragedy. I mean, this is technically, this is technically worse. And you know this one's a lie because no one ever on earth has said they like Fortnite. Hello, I'm George. A few days a week, two high school buddies and I play Fortnite together. It's George Mamulus! We found him! I can't believe I have a clip of George Mimula saying he likes Fortnite. And the thing is with this channel, it, it popped up about three months ago with a slew of like real life stories. I love how they try this one lighthearted video of them saying Fortnite's great and it, it got nowhere. It got terrible views. So then they went back to the animated story time of my entire family was annihilated by Meteor. Now this one. This one is probably my favorite. I stole my dad's computer and I was not ready for what I saw. 3.5 million views in two months. Hi, I'm Evie and I've got this problem. It all started when I was eight years old. Every night I have this nightmare that I was animated in MS Paint. One night, I begged them to let me stay up with them, but they refused saying that the movies they watched weren't suitable for kids. I love how the art in the background as well is, is just totally different to the girl at the forefront. You did not nab that from Tumblr. I didn't understand. What could they be watching that I couldn't? Fortnite short films, you're just not ready for them. Actually, let, let me check out Fortnite. Let's see, uh, Ruin versus the Prisoner two days ago. I have. <laughs> Very well. Who am I to deny you your fun? Is that- is that Thanos? Ah! Only people who use controllers can like. On tiptoes, I crept downstairs and grabbed their laptop before making my way back to my room. You could really t you could really tell that that was motion tracked by Norman Reedus. She noticed too and burst out laughing. As she walked away from me, I heard her call me Evie Pee Pee. I wrote a note on the Vegas thing to like overreact. I can't be asked anymore. So basically, long story short, all these channels have popped up and they just want to capitalize off nine-year-olds that will click on anything on YouTube. They don't swear, so they're advertiser friendly, so they'll sneak it to YouTube kids and then make a bunch of money off, uh, obviously, animation with a budget of 40 million. How dare you say otherwise? Content thief! I know guys, for once, Pyrocynical didn't steal something. So this video was uploaded by the pro gamer Jay. He made a skateboard completely out of crayons and I'm not gonna knock it. It's a good video. He shows putting the crayons together and then actually going outside and getting someone else to ride the board for him. 
It's a decent video. The only problem is it was stolen from another YouTuber. The thumbnail looks exactly the same, despite the fact that one is a guitar like you are a, a mastermind to make the thumbnail look this close. Uh, if you don't remember Pro Gamer J, uh, he did stuff like if you see red, you're colorblind, and I think I think he lost like four children's worth of weight as well, which I commend him on. Dabbing isn't bad. Like YouTube is so saturated, you're eventually gonna step on someone else's toes. All you have to do is make the video different enough, or at least give them a shout out, say, you know, oh, I got the idea from this guy. Like, you clearly saw the thumbnail and tried to recreate it, so you could have shouted him out. Breaking news. Commentary channels are bad. Commentary channels for me, I hate them because yeah. they make an entire career based off slating people. Yeah. I do make jokes about people, like we've made hundreds of morgue strokes. Yeah, yeah. Now let me be real for a sec before the memes. I, I get where he's coming from. The commentary community, like most communities on YouTube, can be incredibly toxic. Some people in the community, when they make a video on someone, they're not doing it as a, oh, he done goofed, or make a little jab. They unironically want to annihilate this person and destroy their career, which is uh, quite sociopathic, to be honest. <laughs> Yeah, but for real though, like when I make a video on someone, it is just to clown on them. Like point out what they've done, have a little jab, make fun. That's it. Like I, I move on. Except to the person who blew up my stone house. That, do you know how long it took? Also, uh, Mini Minna, I'm really sorry. I need views for the video, for the title and thumbnail. I just don't think you'll cut it. So what I'm going to do is motion track PewDiePie's face over your face for the rest of the video. No hard feelings. I'm just a bro that needs some views. For example... Jack, mate. Yep. I'm Alex, all of that. Yeah. Like, Did he just say, I'm Alan by name? <laughs> I'm Alan. <laughs> Did he refer to I'm Alan by name and then refer to me as all that? I'm Alan is more relevant than parasitical. I've, I have never met, he, I've met Alex once. Seems all right. Yeah. Never met Jack, mate, so I'm not judging them personally. He actually met I'm Alan, and he never met me. But they make videos, you know, that are like, we need to stop KSI, for example. Yeah, yeah. I th it's and it's like, you're in, you're making your entire career off hating that person. You know. I have to stop you right there, Simon Mini Minna, with a net worth of only 12 million. <laughs> I actually made a video defending KSI when people were clickbaiting him. Now, like I said earlier, I get where Simon's coming from. The problem is, if you just make a really overgeneralized statement saying, um, the, this community is bad, it seems really like brain lit -y, lobotomy -y. If you think specific channels are bad, just name drop them. Or if you don't want the hassle, just say a part of the community, because then no one's gonna think it's about them. <laughs> what, what other communities have you got? You got the commentary community, uh, the, the commentary community, but they're all viners at one point. Uh, <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Anyways, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Like I said, I've got some new exclusive merch, limited time only. Please check it out. That would be so epic. I'm working on a game review at the minute. It's taken a while. I've been trying to work on it in the background. I don't want to just disappear for a month and then come out with it. So trying to work on stuff like this in the meantime, it is slowing the project down, but it's whatever. Also, shout outs to I'm Alan. <laughs> <Bye>. <laughs>